Thank you to all my members. I really appreciate that. If you want to become a member and help support the channel, just hit that join button. Y'all have a great day and thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Do y'all want this figure? Then go on over to Chosen Prime where they can take good care of you, man. They got everything from Transformers, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever your heart desires. Follow that link down in the description and you can buy this Transformer as well. So just tell them that Deluxe sends you and you might actually get a virtual hug. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another Transformer review. Yeah. All right, Iron Factory. I love it. Uh, this is part of the Samurai series. This is Legend Scale. And his name is uh, the Shogun Bahomura. Buhamra. I always jack up the names, I'm sorry. But this is Grimlock. This is, like I said, the Samurai series. And a uh, beautiful box. Love it. Love the gold foil right there. Looks really good. Kind of a yellowish tint, too, but I think it's gold. And writing that I don't know what it says. There you go. And you got the, uh, this is IFEX50. And once again, nice uh, outline of uh, Grimlock Iron Factory. And there he is on the back. You got some product shots and everything. Looks really cool. And then same thing over here. Same thing. All that stuff. Awesome. All right. Let's see what he comes with. All right. First things first. They always come with extra hands. So he comes with uh, two kind of um, uh, jazz hands. Little sprayed out hands. Or fingers. Got a nice uh, strip of gold paint. Which will look really good. So you get a set of those. You get a set of the kind of the holding the swords at an angle once again that gold paint looks really good and then you get uh open fist ones too as well to hold them straight up the swords and once again this nice strip of gold paint all right so you get two sets of sheaths i guess that's what you call them uh this set is right here is for the swords and they just go in like this and they lock in that might be this way yeah so they lock in like that that's pretty good. And you get this set, which will go for this big old hammer. And they uh, have, you can put them in and they have a little side post. You can uh, display them on uh, alt mode and um, bot mode as well. And I'll show you that in a second. And talk about the swords. Here they are. You got the long one. Love, love that translucent orange, man. That looks so freaking awesome. Kind of a fire effect to it. Nice gold paint and red paint. For the handle that is very nice and then you get a shorter one too as well so that is cool and then you get this big mamma jamma hammer which looks really nice once again the nice translucent orange for the blade right here and they can uh, uh, separate and that is awesome so you can have a double wielding and i'll show you with this you can put these in right here like i said you can display them uh, on the um uh, T-Rex mode and in uh, bot mode too, and I'll show you that. But Nasu once again painted with the uh, handle, the red and the gold, and it looks nice. And then you can also make the big mamma jamma hammer. That is nice. I like that. I like that weapon. That's really nice. I think the uh, gunmetal is also painted. This uh, the all this right here is painted gunmetal silver. That is nice too. Really nice. All right. That is all he comes with. Let's uh, look at Grimlock. And here is the man of the hour. This is the Samurai Series Iron Factory Grimlock. I'm not going to say his uh, third party name because I, you know, I jack it up. But everybody knows his Grimlock. Love this thing. My God, he looks freaking awesome. My gosh, just badass. Tons of paint. My goodness. Look at this head sculpt first. That is scary. Man, them teeth are nicely painted silver. You got silver right here. Kind of a pinkish red right there for the eyes. You got the nice uh, little head crest. That's nicely painted gold. All this right here. Painted gunmetal silver. Looks really good. The uh, the little hands, the little T-Rex hands. I can't do a push-up. Um, they are painted silver too as well. You got the nice gold. Tons of gold accent pieces. And red pieces right here. You got it for the gold and the red underneath his jaw. Looks freaking awesome. My God, they went all out on the paint for this. Nice gold accent piece right here. And his knees, silver right here, gold for that. He does have a little uh, a high heel or whatever, a heel leg, so that's nice. Uh, 
gold right here. Tons of gold paint right here. Got the little red ball right here that's painted. This all, it, it's painted nicely. My gosh, I'm mean, just, you know, I'm going to gush over that. It's just really painted well. Okay, now the only issue I really have is articulation is not the greatest. So with this, you can, you know, open up the the mouth, and but it does open up pretty pretty good, pretty far wide right there. And that does have a little thing right there. Uh, let's see if I can get this out of there. I don't know if you could put a, maybe like a, I don't know if that's supposed to come down or not. Let's see. So you have that right there. I don't know if you could put like something in there to maybe be a blast effect or something. I don't know. But you do have that thing right there. But it does open up pretty good. Um, it goes up and down pretty good, but no side to side. That really sucks. Or which are swivel. Which you could swivel or go side to side. It just opens up and goes down. But it does go down quite a bit. But uh, yeah, I wish it would uh, be able to you know turn side to side to give us some great poses and everything. All right, the little T Rex arms—they are in a little ball pegs, and they can you know go all the way around, up and down, and it looks very cool. All right, and then underneath you got all this stuff right here. You can see all the robot pieces. There's his head. All right, for the legs. Okay, so this little this part right here, which is going to be his shoulder, um, they are you know. You know very nicely done they are on a like a little move you know armature right there and they can move around so you can move them up you can kind of get them out of the way if you want to if you want to put them on the side you have that option but it does expose that little screw area okay so they do go all the way around if you want to um if you move this out of the way you can get a little more but not very much so you can kind of pee on the fire hydrant that is nice you do have a swivel right here and you have a nice knee bend. This is going to be his arm. You can see his hand right there, kind of exposed right there. All right. And as far as the feet, you can go, let's see, up and down a little bit. And you do got a swivel, so you can get a nice little rocker going on. But once again, beautifully painted. I love it. Nice little silver accents. And you do got some high heels right here. So that is that. And unfortunately, the tail does not move. It, it is uh, it's uh, stuck on there, so... Uh, well, I'll take that. Eh, eh, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to really consider that a movement. It barely moves, but it starts on, you know, tabbing everything. So really it can't move. So that sucks. You can't move the tail. So like I said, the articulation for the uh, alt mode is kind of limited, especially with the head. If, if he would have been able to, you know, go side to side or swivel, uh, it would have been a lot better. But it doesn't. So once again, here he is. I think he looks freaking awesome. He looks really intimidating. You know, you would not want to, you know, run against him or uh, walk up in, you know, the a dark alleyway. Golly, I can't even say it. You would not want to see him in person, just to put it that way, because he does look menacing. But he looks good. But, uh, you know, just a little lacking on the articulation. So there you go. There is Iron Factory Grimlock in his alt mode. All right, so you can store the weapons on him. What, we, what you do is you take these... What you're going to do is you're just going to put these in the, uh, there, and this one right here, and you can do it like that. Okay, then you want to take these apart right here, you want to move this down out of the way, and then you're going to put these in there like this, and what you want to do is you want to tab them right here in that little hole right there, that little part right there. Uh, I think this one go on this side. Okay. And like that. And do the same thing for this fella. And then you want to tab it in this one. Okay. Like that. Then you want to take these right here. And there's a little slot right there on the, back, on the bottom of his foot. And you just kind of line it up and see if you can squeeze it in there as best you can. A little harder on camera. You can go in there. Yeah, man, come on now. Help me out. Help me help you. There we go. And the same for this one if you want to do this. So you can store the weapons on him. Kind of look him more menacing as he is. And there you go. 
when he looks like that, you can just readjust everything however you want to. But there you go. That is what you can do with his weapon story. And there's Siege Red Alert. You got Match Square Prowl and Wheelie. He is a big fella for a uh, legend scale. And speaking of Grimlock, there is Grimlock from New Age. I just did a review for him uh, this past week. If you don't mind, after this one, go watch that for me. I really appreciate it. But here is the differences. It's a big difference. <laughs> like I said, Iron Factories are always stylized, especially the Samurai series. And here is the uh, G1 aesthetic. So, yeah. There you go. Okay. So there you go. There is the big differences. All right, back for transformation. Okay, a little update on the transformation. I messed up a little bit. I had these things pointing down. You need, there's a hinge uh, right here. And it needs to go, you know, down so you can lift these up. So they need to be pointing up. And make sure you have the teeth, you know, the bottom jaw of the uh, T-Rex. Have them in there. 
I don't think I had them in there whenever I was transforming them, but make sure you do that. And these will it's supposed to tab in. They don't Let's see if I can tab these in any better. They're supposed to tab in right there, but have a little, they don't tab in the best, but it'll be okay. All right. So here is Iron Factory Samurai Series Grimlock. And my God, he looks beautiful. Now the transformation is easy, but just like most of the Samurai stuff, stuff gets in the way. He has a lot of parts, you know, like this right here. You got these 80s woman working shoulder pads, you know. So when you transform him, you're going to have to move stuff out of the way. Uh, these little T-Rex, you know, arms get in the way sometimes. Just be wary of that. Just like the Samurai series, you know, stuff just gets in the way. But it is beautiful. It is painted from head to toe. My gosh, look at this head sculpt. Now it is uh, light piping. You got the orange light piping in the back right there. So you can see right there. Uh, so if you get it right in the light, it will look good. But that gunmetal silver, this nice gold for the head crest looks really good. Tons of gold accent pieces. I love this translucent orange for his chest. Red paint, silver paint. Just like, you know, in the T-Rex mode, he is beautifully painted. My gosh, they did not spare any expense for the for the paint. Here is the back of him. Now here, I'll show the front too as well. Man, they even got red paint inside right there and, and the inner thigh looks really good. Everything collapses pretty nicely done. In the back, he does have a little backpack not terrible i think it just goes with everything everything is like a cluster of, a, of just stuff kind of reminds me of a michael bay uh you know grimlock or something so there you go very nicely done my god the paint is so spectacular on this okay articulation <clears throat> he can look down quite a bit it is on like a hinge or something um and he can look well <clears throat> that is a ball peg so be wary of that so he can look up a little bit, not much. Side to side, this is really tight. Be careful and try not to grab onto this right here because that's thin plastic. You don't want to break the head crest. Um, and he's got a little attitude as well. But you can see the teeth right there on the side. That looks pretty cool. So very nice. All right, these things back here, they're on a ball peg, or you can see the ball joint. Uh, they can swivel up and down so you can move them around as you fit as you see fit and they do have a hinge as well so they can move like uh let's see if i can get this on camera you can move them too as well uh back and forth so you can move them out of the way so you can get some better articulation so that is cool all right these move just like in the dono mode you can move them like this you can move them out like that so to you can move them out like that and then you get your 90 degrees for that which looks pretty good now he does have, you can drop this down and you can get some better articulation and you can get a nice, nice butterfly. If you move this down a little bit, you still can get a butterfly like this, but if you move it down a little bit and you get some dynamic poses, it does have a very nice butterfly and back and forth. So, and this has a little wiggle waggle. So you can go just about right here. These do get in the way. I guess you can try to move them out of way, but I think going up that high is just as, is as good as you, know, you can get. All right, so he does have a <laughs> just popping stuff everywhere. My gosh! All right, just be aware of that. They're ball pegs. That's how you switch out the hands. All right, he does have a double elbow, and it does got a fill in right there. That is pretty good. He does have a bicep swivel, and you move this back up. He does have a little sculpt work in there. Uh, these do get, you know, they're right on the bottom, so they may get in the way a little bit, so you can just manipulate them. But silver, gold, you've already seen all that stuff. All right, swivel of the hand, a little wiggle waggle, and all that stuff. All right, so move this out of the way. Just like most iron factories, it, this stuff gets in the way. All right, so he does have a nice waist swivel. He does have, I'm a little teapot, and he does have an ab crunch. But, you know, like I said, with my ab crunch, you know, it's not a big ab crunch, so... That's very, you know, you don't, you know, I like to, for them to be able to look up because you're just basically looking it down, but he doesn't have a big ab crunch about th right there. So, you know, but like I said, love the sculpt work and the um, paint. All right. So he does have little skirts. So you move the skirt up. If I can get it, you may have to get a little spudger and move it out of the way. 
There we go. You know, move these out of the way. Oh, these are on little ball pegs, so you can move these out of the way. You will probably need to to uh, do the. You can do the full Van Dam. Let me move this out of the way. So they are tensioned. So you get that right there. So you can move up to there, which is good. Move this back, and you can get some backwards as well. And just tab that back in. You do have a nice thigh swivel, which is good. You have a double knee, which you get more than 90 degrees. He's got thick old legs, but I like that double knee. You do got some uh, stuff in here, but I think it cleans up pretty good. Not bad at all. Now you got a toe tilt up and a down, a lot of down, and a huge rocker. So everything you need for the feet, and you got a swivel too as well. So everything you need, you do got some nice gold and red paint right there as well. My gosh, it's just painted really well. All right, and then the back, once again, move these down. Like I said, just stuff gets in the way. And then here's the top of the head, or the uh, top of the dino head. So, very nice. All right, so that is sculpt work and articulation. There you go. Stuff popping off ball pegs all the time. But at least they're ball pegs. At least you can uh, put them back on. Real quick, put the sword on. I got one over there. There is a hole right there on the, on the right there. And you just find the sweet spot and you can put the sword right there on either side, however you want. And then the back with the, you know, the battle axis, you use this little part right here and you just tab it into right there, that little hole. And you can store the uh, hammer, whatever hammer axis, whatever you want to call them. And let's see if I can get it in there, get it in the hole, giggity. All right, and there he is holding all of his weapons. So pretty cool. And if you want to, like I said, you can pop off this right here. And you can grab one of the holding hands. You can take this out right here. And then just slide it in. Just like White Snake said, slide it in right from the top. So there you go. So that is his weapons. Uh, there he is next to, you got some Iron Factory, you got one of the Seekers, you got Power Glide, Mirage, and Jazz. That's from Iron Factory. Now for New Age, you got Mirage and Megatron back there, Magic Square Optimus Prime, and then you got Tits McGee, uh, Mechanic Toys or Mechanic Studios, Retgar. Like I said, he is a big fella, so there you go. Scale. Garnets, Crappy Toilet Paper, Carmex, AAA Battery, Care Bear, Squeaker, and Kicks for more scale. Real quick, there he is with two of the other Samurai series, the recent ones that have been released. You got the Drift, which is probably one of the worst ones I've ever, uh, you know, handled with. Uh, that's not a good one. And then you have uh, Lockdown, which he is uh, one of my favorites. And so there is two of them together, or all three of them together. And there he is next to the New Age G1 Tune inspired Grimlock. Now, New Age is bigger than him. I really thought they were going to be... Uh, you know, about the same size, but uh, he is about a head. Now, if you don't count the shoulder pads and all that stuff in the back, but as far as the heads, uh, New Age is bigger. So, yeah, I did not see that coming. I thought he was going to be a lot bigger than him. But, man, that is, man, it's just good to be a, a, a Legends collector. It's good to be a Grimlock collector, too. If you collect Grimlocks, man, you got you are in it for a treat, man. So, there you go.
Hey, what's up, Megan? Me, Grimlock. Me, King. Oh, I bet you are. How you doing? No, I am Grimlock. I am King of Floor Time now. Oh, here we go again. Why does everybody want to come down and be King of Floor Time? That's my job. I take care of everybody. Well, I am Grimlock. I'm King of the World. Dinobots, Autobots, Decepticons. Yeah, yeah, man, you're a big fella. Man, look at that hammer. Yeah, they gave me a big old hammer. Yeah. Oh, my God, what is that? Oh, that's Kick the Baby. That is a shark to con. I'm going to ask to ask you really nicely. Do not kick the baby because it, you look like you would kill that thing. I want to crush him. I know, I know, but I'm going to have to get in the way this time because you really look, oh, my God, domino effect. <laughs> Everybody falling. Oh, my gosh. But once again, you really look like you could cause some damage to this little fella, and I'm going to have to ask you not to do that. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll leave him alone. But uh, make sure he just gets out of my way. Okay. It won't bother you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, chicken. Oh, my gosh. I'm scared. All right. All right. Well, hey, like I always say, welcome to the family. Welcome to floor time. You can enjoy your stay. You can go over there and uh, mess around in the uh, inner jump pool. Or you can go back there in the club and... Mm, 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 mm. All right, thank you. Uh, we'll go back there and dance it up a little bit. All right, let's talk about some Iron Factory Samurai series Grimlock. Okay, I love this thing. It's probably one of my favorites. Again, like Lockdown, I love. Um, the last two, you know, Drift was terrible, but man, Lockdown and this guy, he is just a beautiful piece. Now, he does have some issues. I'll get that out of the way. Um, just like most Iron Factory, just like most of the Samurai series stuff, it, stuff gets in the way. There's a lot of stuff. It's highly stylized. Like I said, you know, these things get in the way. These things get in the way. These little T-Rex arms get in the way. So transformation, like I said, is easy, but it's it's not the funnest. Uh, you know, you just, there's stuff you got to move out of the way to, you know, transform him. And also in articulation too. So when you're trying to, if you want to get some pictures or, you know, to, uh, you know, pose him, you may have to move some stuff out of the way and, you know, you know, this and that. That's how it's always been with the Samurai series, so, you know, I'm used to it. Uh, T-Rex mode looks beautiful. I love it. I'm probably going to put uh, put it back there. Uh, like I said, transformation already went over with. Paint. Oh, my God. This thing is painting, painted from head to toe, and it is beautiful. Like I said, they did not spare any expenses on the paint job. The gold, the silver, the gunmetal silver, all that stuff, little, you know, accent pieces. I love this translucent orange right here to match with the weapons. I love the weapons. I love the two swords. I love these two big old axes, and you can form a big one. That is awesome. So really great on the, um, you know, weapons. Uh, the sculpt work, really good. I love the head sculpt. You can see the teeth. That is so cool. It just, it looks good. It looks menacing. He looks, you know, bad ass. That's what he looks like. Articulation. You got everything really, you know, you got an ab crunch. I wish you could look up a little more uh, if you start pushing it too back. Like you saw, I popped off the ball peg. Same with the hands, be, you know, where they're a little, little loose, loosey goosey, but not terrible. Uh, I love that they, you know, Iron Factory does throw in extra hands. That is awesome. Um, you know, uh, sculpt wise, it looks beautiful. Uh, uh, let's see, materials. You know, like I said, most of the stuff is on ball pegs. So if you do have to, you know, to pop something off, you can put it back on. I didn't feel like I was going to break anything. Like I said, transformation, you just got to move stuff out of the way. But overall, this is a great piece. It looks just great. I mean, just so menacing. I mean, I love it. I love the translucent sword, man. That is so cool. Both modes look really good. I mean, if you want to get two of them, um, they are kind of pricey. He's about 80, 90 bucks, uh, but he's a big fella for Iron Factory. Uh, but to display him in T-Rex mode and bot mode, I, I wouldn't, you know, I would not definitely hate on that because it's just, look, I mean, the paint just alone is awesome. So I highly recommend this one, him and Lockdown. I really, these are my favorites out of the same hour series so far. I really hope they do the rest of the Dinobots like this. Um, so yeah, I would definitely get the Dinobots, man. If they make some more, I'm definitely in for it. If they just make this guy, going to be a little upset, but you know, it's still, it's a great piece. So I hope you like my review. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button. It helps out the channel. And watch my reviews too. It really helps out the channel too. It really does. Uh, hit me up some comments. I love reading your comments. And I guess I'll see you in the next Transform review. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Iron Factory and hell this freaking Grimlock, man. This beautiful, beautiful piece, man. Golly. Um, and I guess I'll see you in the next Transform review. So y'all, good night, folks. Uh, take care. Love y'all like step cousins. And uh, roll tide. Yeah. 
Uh, some of the tolerances are a little tight too. I forgot to mention that, but that's always usually with the Iron Factory. Not not bad at all. My gosh, that's a beautiful piece. Look at that. Stunning. Just stunning.